The world of fragrance is so large that we often overlooked quite a few hidden gems that defy the calendar season. Uh, these fragrances, they have this unique versatility and they are able to follow us and to be part of our lives uh, through the entire year with effortless grace and simply making us shine even more. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Lima from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the amazing world of perfumery. So in this video, I want to talk about my top 10 most underrated all year round fragrances. The majority of them are niche. I just have three designers and one of these designers is from an exclusive line, um, but I will not rank these, uh, this list. But without further ado, let's dive into this hidden treasures. Uh, so the first fragrance that I want to talk about, it's from the house of Amouage. And this is often overlooked. I mean, Amouage, it's one of my favorite, all time favorite uh, niche perfume houses. And they have a lot, a lot of bangers. But this one is remains in the shadow, but I think it really deserves more love. And the name of the fragrance is Beloved Man. Uh, and this is in the new um, bottle format, let's say. I mean, it's still the same, but the difference is that now the new bottles, they have the name written here in front of the bottle and not in here, in this uh, cap ring. Uh, that's the only difference. But I, I don't recall really how the older uh, bottles smelled like. I don't know if there is really a big difference between the old version and this new one. What I do know with this is that the performance here, it's, it's great and it smells amazing. Now, this is an aromatic, spicy, woody fragrance and oh, it's so elegant, ah, so effortless. Really, you, you see all the layers, the lavender with the spices, with the woods, I mean, and a very small hint of incense, not like a really raw, rough, intense incense. No, it's delicate, soft incense. It's really a fantastic scent, very gentlemanly. Um, really, th this is the type of fragrance that you will wear for special occasions where you don't need to overshadow other people uh, with this fragrance. You, you just want this fragrance is like the cherry on top because you already know that you are uh, elegant, you are dressed up, you just arrive at the room, uh, you know that you will shine and this is just the cherry on top. The projection, of course, it's not big, it's not like your uh, typical amouage, but it will last you through the entire day. Amazing scent right here and because of the spicy woodiness, of this fragrance, I think this really is a fantastic all year round type of scent. Amouage, beloved man. The next fragrance, this is from the house of Mel Fuccini and this was released this year. And to me, this is at least so far the best release of 2023. It is Sony. Man, Sony is fantastic so unique, never smelled anything like this. And this is so versatile. You have here rice, like rice absolute, and you really feel, you really smell the rice in here. So, but to give you just a background, quick background, Sony represents the trip of Mel Fuccini in Japan while he was at Japan. So this really captivates the mood, the, the calming yet magical trip of Japan and so that's why you have here rice absolute you have Japanese incense in here uh, you have tobacco you have amber um, in the end this fragrance is calming relaxing but at the same time so addicting I absolutely love this one so yeah the rice with the incense with the amber with tobacco I mean seriously this is magical this is really a poem in a bottle. Beautiful scent, absolutely beautiful. Sony, Mel Fuccini, this, this works wonderfully during the entire year. I mean, I think 
this will shine during the springtime and also fall but more in the spring but i think in the end this has a lasting power this is an extra de parfum so i think this is a perfect all year round type of scent sony by mel fuccini the next fragrance this is from the house of pantheon roma and this is one of my latest acquisitions uh, and i absolutely love this one i can't believe that i overlooked this fragrance um, but i'm ha very happy to finally have this one uh, and Pantheon Roma in general is not a fragrance house that it's very talked about uh, and this one specifically I never really heard anyone even reviewing this one this is Anone this is in the 100 ml they also sell they actually started uh, to sell just in 50 ml this is an extra de parfum like all Pantheon Roma fragrances are Anone oh, I am so addicted to this fragrance um and i feel that this is a yeah, perfect all year round scent very fruity so you have mango in here beautiful delicious mango with saffron uh, amber musk nagarmotha the end result is and it's also milky like vanilla milky type of um note in here so yeah this is sweet fruity playful floral you have a bit of jasmine in here definitely yes definitely jasmine and a hint of rose also this has this has a lot of layers actually but this imagine like um this is like baccarat rouge not being baccarat rouge but just for you to have an idea it has that type of sweetness from baccarat rouge uh, but fruity more complex more creamy more subtle uh so it's not i really do not like baccarat rouge not in the or the parfum i actually don't mind the extra but i think that will be for another video but the eau de parfum i really cannot stand it's really harsh it smells like latex uh, gloves uh wrapped with a cotton candy uh so it's it's really not pleasant this one on the other hand now it's smoother it's creamy it's fruity the fruity note in here is actually quite juicy i really love this anone it's amazing and it's all year round it's an all year round type of scent great performance but it's never too loud uh so this one if you're searching for a sweet but versatile scent check this one out anone by pantheon roma the next fragrance is from House of Les and Demodable, and this one is Fougère Emeraude. Beautiful fragrance. I mean, I absolutely love this one, and I feel that this is very underrated. I mean, Les and Demodable is starting to have quite a, a nice traction, actually, from, because of the, their Veni Havan, which I think it's their most popular fragrance. Mousse de Sable as well. They now released uh, Patchouli Noisette and uh, which is really good in my opinion um, but this one i think it's a bit forgotten for some reason but i understand because of the tuberose so although this is a fougere fragrance but this is a fougere with a heavy carnal tuberose and if you don't like tuberose this will be quite challenging um th actually this is a reason why i started to appreciate tuberose um the tuberose in here it's so it's it's the most natural smelling tuberose that you will uh that you will smell uh and it's so carnal so intense ah, it's beautiful and it's very sexy in my opinion uh so the tuberose mixed with the lavender with the tonka bean with the clary sage i mean creates a fantastic elegant versatile fragrance and very unique uh, i think the tuberose here really gives a unique touch to the fougere gendre amazing scent fougere amoureux by les indemodables and the performance is amazing i think out of all of the fragrances from this brand this fragrance is the one that has the best performance fougere amoureux by les indemodables the next fragrance is from house of papillon artisan perfumes i absolutely love this brand you already know if you're following this channel for a while love this brand and this one is one of the best chypres out there but very versatile it is dryad or dryad i never i do not know i still do not know how to pronounce 
uh, the name of uh, this fragrance, Driad. I will just say Driad. Um, this fragrance is the smoothest Chypre fragrance that you will smell. Uh, of course, you have, it's very green, very uh, pasty, but you have here, you have here a lot of notes. You have ambers, you have animalic notes like astorium and civet. Uh, you have, of course, um, oak moss, then you have the citruses on top, but you have galbanum, lots of galbanum in here. You have styrax. I mean, you have a lot of notes, a lot of floral notes in here, a lot of resins. So this is very complex, but the end result is a citrusy green, uh, a bit pasty-like um, mossiness with uh, some sweet resins. Amazing. So, so good. I absolutely love this one. Uh, Driad is one of the best cheaper fragrances out there. One of the best modern cheaper fragrances very elegant, effortless, and uh, unisex, like all of these fragrances are, of course. If you are searching for, or even if you want to start to dive into sheep, let's start with this one. Drial by Papillon Artisan Perfumes. The next fragrance, this is from House of Healy, and this one is Rose Aria, which I already talked about here and there. I absolutely love this one. Uh, one of the best discoveries of last year for me. Rose Aria is, and it's so underrated. This starts off with the silkiest red rose, more like red uh, rose petals. And then this develop like, and with some wateriness, it's like you are putting uh, rose petals on water. And then this develops into a very musky, a bit elemalic scent. I love how this fragrance develops. Uh, very unique in my opinion. Very, really well done. Very smooth. Nothing is scratchy in here. The, the rose, again, it's the silkiest, realistic uh, rose petal. And the musk then gives really a very sensual touch in here. Absolutely love this one. Very versatile, great performance. And my uh, fiance actually really loves this one on me. Rose Aria by Healy. The next fragrance, this is from House of Zerjov from the Shooting Stars collection. And this one is probably the most underrated Zerjov, the least talked about Zerjov. It is. OSL. This one right here. OSL. I mean, this right, first of all, I love the color, but actually the, the color of the liquid changed. Uh, it was more yellow and now it's more ambery because this has uh, vanilla in here. Um, but this, this fragrance, it's so good. It's so good. So this, you have orange blossom, petit grain in the opening amazing i love the opening of this fragrance and then this develops into a jasmine and dolic uh fragrance with rose and with amber with vanilla and tobacco amazing scent very complex very well done uh i love the op the opening is really a realistic uh, orange blossom slash petit grain. Wow, like green, floral, citrusy, very vivid. And then you have this very indolic jasmine with a hint of rose, followed by a sweet tobacco. Amazing, amazing. The, the, I don't know why people don't really talk about this one. Maybe because of the floral nuances. I mean, yeah, you have the jasmine and the rose, which is not easy to like, but but still you have some sweetness underneath, although it's not very intense, but you have a very soft sweetness that I think it really gives more body to this fragrance. Very elegant, uh, and you can really wear this through the entire year. Serge of OSL, check this one out if you have yet to. And now let's talk about the design of fragrances. So the first one is from House of Chanel from the Alice Exclusives. Probably this one is the most underrated from this line. 
number 18, which I absolutely love. Number 18, this is the Eau de Parfum concentration. I mean, I added this one to my collection this year and this is how much I already wore it. Absolutely brilliant perfume. This, it, this one has like um, a brandy, like a cognac uh, feel, like a very boozy, brandy-like cognac uh, accord. And then you have sandalwood yeah, and you have musk, like in bread seeds, which gives like a creamy muskiness. Absolutely love this one. This this has hints of egoist because of the sandalwood, because of the inbred seeds. So this share a bit of a similarity with egoist, but while egoist is more complex in my opinion, because you have the carnation, you have uh, the rose, uh, you have the spices on top. This one here, it has the booziness, which is amazing. <laughs> I mean, uh, Chanel fragrance ha having like a boozy accord is really. Uh, really great and it's very rare i mean you don't have any other chanel fragrance with a boozy accord just this one uh and really works in here and then you have just the musky and bread seeds and sandalwood amazing maybe this has a bit of a spicy like a pepperiness maybe but for me this is more about the this cognac feel like white cognac if that makes sense with um yeah, with musk and sandalwood. Amazing. Absolutely love this one. This is perfect. A perfect signature scent. Uh, and this, I think this is perfect for all year round, in my opinion. Summer, winter, uh, fall, spring, you name it. I think you can wear this really all, everywhere, whenever you want. Um, you can dress this up, dress this down. You will always smell amazing with Chanel number 18 or the Parfum. The next fragrance this is from the house of Hermes and this is so underrated from Hermes actually this line itself it's very underrated it's from the Eau de Merveille line and this one specifically is L'Ombre de Merveille absolutely beautiful bottle presentation beautiful uh, this was released in 2018 or 2020 even this was this is fairly recent um, and this for me it's probably the most masculine fragrance from this line. Um, I consider them all unisex. I mean, maybe slightly leaning a bit feminine, but this one, I think it's the one that leaves a bit more masculine and it's amazing. And because of that, I feel that this really is versatile and can really, you can really wear this during the colder days. Uh, L'Ombre de Merveille has black tea, incense, tonka beans. Amazing, very good fragrance, very unique. Um, and the, really this smoked black tea with resins, with tonka bean. I mean, it's fantastic. Absolutely love this one. And this still has like that powderiness, um, that watery powderiness that this line, it's like it's the DNA of this line, of the Eau de Merveille line, but with more dark heavy notes although this fragrance is more heavy when comparing with the others um i think that this is still quite versatile because it has the hermes transparency let's say i think this is this is really it's it's great i love this one l'ombre de merveille it's a fantastic incense tea uh resinous uh fragrance that you really need to put your nose on and very versatile in my opinion l'ombre de merveille by hermes and last but by no means least this is from the house of zandig in voltaire and this one is this is him vibes of freedom absolutely love this one one of my favorite discoveries of this year so far uh, i actually featured this one on my top 10 summer list of this year but and i do feel that this works wonderfully during the summertime after all i wore this a lot during the summer but i still think that this is very versatile you can wear this during the entire year with no issues and finally they made a proper flanker of the original this is him with the toilette which i absolutely love it's one of the best designer fragrances released 
in recent years. Uh, and they finally made a proper flanker. Although you also have the Eau de Parfum, which is great as well, although it feels a bit redundant, uh, because it's very similar to the original. Uh, and it's it's not really that amped up, uh, but, but still it's great. But they finally made a nice flanker, a slight deviation of the DNA of the original. So this one has citruses on top, you have lavender in here, cardamom, and then you have the sandalwood. Fantastic fragrance. Um, this really shines during the summer, but quite honestly, you can wear this during the entire year with no issues. It's really, it's amazing. I love the sandalwood in here. This really reminds me of uh, Santal Bush by Tom Ford. It's that good, that good. Amazing. I love, love, love this one. Perfect for the entire year. Uh, I, I think the original is too heavy because of the vanilla and the incense. So I feel that the, the original, this is him. It's more definitely better. It's better for the fall and winter time. This one all year round. Fantastic scent right here. And if you're searching for a designer sandalwood fragrance that it's versatile and has still lasting power, check this one out. Uh, this is him, Vibes of Freedom by Zadig Voltaire. Finishing this video, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find value in this video, just hit the like button because it will really mean a lot to me. And let me know in the comments down below what are some underrated fragrances in your opinion that I should check out. And see you in the next video. Ciao, guys.